Hi fellow risk panels and researchers. My name is Nurani Huda binti Abdul Kadir from University Tunku Abdul Rahman, Malaysia. I would like to present my paper titled Development of a Near Infrared Forearm Subcutaneous Vein Extraction by Using Deep Residual Unit. In this presentation, I will cover these topics. First, we go to introduction. Venipuncture is one of the essential procedure in medical industry. The procedure can be either palpatomy or intravenous therapy or IV. Palpatomy is a process of drawing blood samples while IV is a process that infuses solution directly into the vein. During the venipuncture process, the first step is to locate the patient's vein. The conventional way of locating the vein is such as by sight, applying alcohol and liquid. For some patients, it is hard to find the vein because of the skin psychological factors such as age, dark skin color, scars, hairy forearm, obesity and more. This problem leads to multiple attempts of IV insertion. The patient will feel pain during the multiple trials of IV insertion. There are some effects such as internal bleeding, vein damage and infiltration, and extravasion. According to a survey conducted in North America, about 150 to 200 million times of IV procedure being performed annually. The survey also mentioned that up to 8 to 23 percent patients experience difficult peripheral IV insertion, narrowing down to the emergency department. These patients are more likely to require central venous access, including significantly higher associated mobility. Some existing technologies and researchers developed to solve such problem in locating the forearm vein. Here is some recent technologies developed. Transillumination is widely used in the industry as it offers a low-cost solution and is small in size. Although it provides a low-cost product, it might induce negative consequences to patients, such as skin and surrounding cells to burn due to LED heat. It also requires to be operated in under bright light or in the dark environment. It is also suitable for the pedestry only. Ultrasound imaging used to be the safest and accurate techniques, but it is costly and bulk in size. The ultrasound can penetrate deep underneath the skin and return broad information of the imaging. Thus, the procedure requires an expert or, an sono or a sonographer to allocate the right blood vessel. Near infrared imaging claimed as the best technique by some researchers. It offers non-invasive, low cost and small in size. But the mishandling issue is still occurs because the image written is has a lot of noise, thus it requires an optimum filter in vein extraction. This project uses deep residual unit architecture to automatically extract the subcutaneous forearm veins from the near infrared image. This deep residual unit architecture is inspired by the research from Zhang Liu and Wang that combine residual neural network and unit architecture. The ordinary convolution neural network works by feeding each layer into the next layer. While for the network with residual block, each layer fed into the next layer and their output is added to the next jumped layer. UNET is a CNN architecture developed by Olaf von Berger that is more suitable for biomedical image segmentation due to the low quantity of dataset. It consists of two paths, contracting path or encoder and expansive path or decoder that connected by a bridge. I will explain the structure of the network on the next chapter. We are here at the methodology. The process flow of the project is begin with preparing the dataset. 
we have near infrared image and the ground truth respectively as the input. The first 70% of the total images fed into to train the model. Once done, we go to the validation process. And during the validation process, it will use the 20% of total images. If the validation is good, then it will proceed to the test with remaining of the 10% images. If the validation is not good, we then the model optimization is required. The process will be looped until the validating is good. Once the validating is good, we will do the test again. If the result is good, then we achieve the end of the project. But if the result is not good, we need to start over from the beginning. It is because we might have an overfitting problem where the dataset is not good enough during training the model. Then we take a look at the network architecture. This is the illustration of the residual block in the algorithm. There are two types of blocks. One is being used during downsampling and the right one used during upsampling. As mentioned before, the output is being added to the jumper layer. And this is the illustration of the deep residual unit architecture uses in this project. There are five main elements, input, encoder, bridge, decoder, and output. In both encoder and decoder consists of a repetitive residual blocks and connected by the CNN at the bridge. This makes the structure is symmetric. The encoder and decoder has strides equals to 2, resulting in double up the channel and double down the dimension of input image during the down sampling and vice versa during the up sampling. The other parameters used in the algorithm is matrix. We use the dice coefficient to calculate the accuracy. The function works by dividing the intersection of the ground truth pixel number and predicted pixel number with the sum of pixel number of both images. The maximum value is 1 indicates that it is accurately predicts the image but if the value is less than between 0 and 0 0.1 it means that it is not intersect at all next i will show the preliminary result i have run a few tests with different parameters and found that the test with resized image of 224 by 224 pixel value has higher accuracy compared to the image with 128 by 128 pixels. Since the image resolution is big, thus the time taken for training is high. Here are the results from the test that run in the project. The top three images are the image tested using 224 by 224 pixels, while at the bottom was using 128 by 128 pixel images. The most left uh, images are the input image. Uh, at the middle are uh, the ground truth correspond to the input image and the most right images is are uh, the uh, predicted image uh, respectively and if we can see that uh, the bigger pixel images have a clearer result compared to the lower pixel images 
as for the conclusion. The project implements a deep residual unit to extract the forearm subcutaneous vein automatically. The model strength in this research have a significant performance from the result achieved and show a promising result that motivates the further development for subcutaneous vein detection using deep learning. The project should be further developed in an inexpensive equipment to be applied in the hospital or clinics to localize the subcutaneous vein for IV access proof. Thank you.